Good evening and welcome to Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. Tonight we have a good one on hand. The Oxford Wildcats are in town to take on your hometown Lake Orion Dragons. Every time these two teams get together, you know it's going to be a good one. Over the years, they've had so many epic battles, it's hard to keep track of them. So we are here, Owen TV cameras, for this matchup tonight between the Wildcats of Oxford and the Dragons of Lake Orion. We'll have kickoff right after this short timeout. You're watching Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. Owen TV Sports coverage is underwritten by Jets Pizza, with two convenient locations in the Orion area. Jets Pizza has been a proud supporter of Owen TV since 2009. And Lakes Community Credit Union, a part of Birmingham Bloomfield Credit Union. The non-for-profit institution has been providing financial services to the Oakland County area since 1937. Give them a call at 248-814-4000 for more information. All right, back here about ready for kickoff here. I'm your announcer, Ian Locke, for Owen TV Sports. Game of the week, Oxford versus Lake Orion. As we mentioned in the open, very good matchup. Always a good one. Huge crowd on hand. Sta uh, the stands are absolutely packed with Oxford and Lake Orion faithful. Uh, let's take a little snapshot of our teams coming into this one. What did we see? Dragons are 6-8-3 and three overall, 2-0-1 oh, in the white division. Oxford's in the red division, 6-5-2 and two overall, 1-3-1 one, in the red division. Over the last six games, the Dragons are 3-2-1, and one, and Oxford is 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. two wins, two losses, two ties. Talking to some of the Oxford fans here before the start of this matchup, they said that the only real uncompetitive match they had all season long was against Clarkston where they had their starting goaltender, Nolan uh, Mauser. He was out with an injury and they had some bouts with COVID on the team and, and injuries and all that good stuff. But the one thing we can say about um, Oxford's team as we are underway here in the first period of play is that Oxford has quite a young squad. A lot of sophomores, a lot of freshmen playing, three freshmen whole host of sophomores, just, I think, three seniors on the squad, and you compare it at the Lake Orion, they're loaded with seniors and only one freshman on the squad with sprinkling a couple juniors to go along with it. So you have some experienced season uh, upperclassmen against a young upstart Oxford squad in the Red Division. All right, here we are just inside 39, 18 left in the first half. Beautiful night for soccer, chilly, and the wind is up. So it's a uh, beautiful sunset uh, behind us in the west. As you see the shadows and the glow of the field and all that stuff. Plus, we've got football hat going on behind us. So you're going to hear a lot of uh, JV Dragon football action in the, uh, in the wings as Oxford looks to split the defense here and picked up easily. Excuse me, that was Oxford splitting the defense. Dragons are there to collect it. So one thing we've seen about the Dragons, this is our fourth game of the season, I do believe, uh, covering uh, Dragon soccer, is Lake Orion's always trying to find some goals. They, they're not a high-scoring team. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at some of their statistics here. Uh, they lost Lapeer 1-0. Uh, on the road, they tied with Hazlitt 0-0. They won at Linden 1-0. So there's not a lot of scoring going on. What we see is spectacular goals by Lake Orion on headers and set pieces, but just standard old offensive attack. You really don't see a lot of goals. Oxford with first corner kick of the night, knuckles in and cleared out easily by the Dragon defense. So Dragon's always trying to manufacture some offense here, and uh, they need to have some stellar uh, goaltending play tonight as well. And uh, the Dragon offense will be tested as this uh, Oxford uh, defense is very solid. And mentioning number zero, Nolan uh, Mauser, the sophomore goalkeeper here for Oxford, is one to watch. Ooh, nice pass inside. Nearly collected in, run down by 15. Uh, chops it on. Bad idea, Jed. 
Looking at our goaltender here for Lake Orion. To oh, excuse me. Yes, Toby Archer, number one, the senior uh, goalkeeper. And uh, the other one is Marius Martello, another senior goalkeeper for Lake Orion. And we've seen the Dragons rotate in uh, by the halves, uh, different goaltenders uh, throughout some of the contests we've had. This is our fourth game this season already as we progress through the uh, 2022 uh, fall season. And uh, something we have to watch out for, too, is the Dragons have given up good quality scoring chances to their opponents uh, based on some uh, less than ideal uh, free kicks from the uh, from the goaltender. So right now that was a good one. Set that one up, try to split the defense. Good idea by number eight, uh, Mihailo uh, Janeski, the senior midfielder. Foul called and, yep, a little too quick there. They'll be resetting on that one. Again, these two rivals, whenever they get together, you never know what's going to happen. We've seen over the years these two meet, uh, meeting up in the districts, uh, district finals, semifinals, regionals, and all that, and it's always a great matchup as that one is sent in long. Across the end line, goal kick coming here for Lake Orion. Lake Orion's in the green, all green uniforms, and Oxford in the all white. Again, huge crowd on hand to take this one in. Everybody bundled up, got uh, their winter gloves on <laughs> already in the fall. Um, and hats, and it's chilly out here. What a beautiful night for soccer, and we're excited to see some of the guys out there wearing uh, gloves. Dragons trying to get organized there on that far side, and they do, making some moves up that far side. Trying to cut it inside and just a little bit too far. Across that end line, goal kick coming for uh, Mauser. A lot of activity going on at the uh, sports complex here at Lake Orion High School. So many things happening in the fall. It, it seems like it's a compressed season, so you got to get a lot in um, at one time. So there's a ton of activity. And Oxford settles that one down, and they're on the move. Bump there. Dragons with a steal, trying to move the other way. So far, a little back and forth affair here. Both teams trying to uh, sort each other out. Trying to turn on that one. Nicely done. Looking for support is 16, Adam Heron. And that one sent out of play. One to watch here is number five, Aeneas, uh, I think it's Pelo. Number five, he's got great throw-ins. His range on the throw-ins from the side, especially when you're deep in your opponent's uh, uh, defensive end, he can really launch it. Uh, he does a great job with his throw-ins. And you see him slides from far side to near side for the throw-ins and look at how look at the distance on those throws and they're very accurate he set up a, his teammates a numerous scoring opportunities in the previous games with his ability to throw that ball in with accuracy dragons looking to move and they have it Jakubowski, number 12, looks for support and finds it. Number 17, looking for some, uh, Belina Loza, looking for some support and some help. Dragons just keeping possession and keeping their spacing, looking to attack. Jakubowski still turning there. Ooh, a nice tap into the box. Here it comes. Closed out easily by the netminder. Mauser to collect that one in, sends it down range, but a nice job by Andrew Finstrom, number six. Or excuse me, that is Matias uh, Molina Loza, number six, the midfielder sophomore, for putting the pressure on that Oxford uh, defense. And Dragons looking to set something up, showing some speed on the left side. Trying to run that one down, that's Deer. Oh, nicely done. Oh, good defensive stop there by Oxford. Play continues. You hear whistles in the background. That's for football. Pelog sends that one in, looking to switch the field. Deer trying to turn on it, number 15. Deer's had a number of goals, multiple goal games this season. 
He's their primary uh, offensive threat as as far as we've seen in the coverage that ONTV's cameras have been here over the four games. Throw in coming here for the green and white and it looks like Deer will be taking the honors. Chip back in. Dragon's doing, doing a nice job of trying to break that defense. Comes out a throw in coming at 31-49. Good pressure by Lake Orion early. And, yep, there he is, number five. He should be able to get this one in the box, no problem. Look like he stepped over the line, no call. Play continues, and he does. It's almost like a corner kick, the way he can sling that ball. Nicely done by number five. That is a, that is such an asset to have. You know, Coach Corteg, <laughs> he's going to put his, his guys in position to find success, and he's got uh, Anais Pelot, the midfielder senior, in position where he needs them, throwing that ball in. Nicely done. Goal kick coming here. Get on me and lock for Owen TV, bringing you game of the week. Oxford uh, Wildcats in town to take on your hometown Dragons. Oxford is in the red division of the OAA. Dragons are in the white division. First and 10 lane Owen for your own for the 46. Dragons trying to get organized over there. Again, number eight. Keep calling his name, Janewski. Chips on left footed in the box. Brings it out. Nice swarming defense by the Wildcats to close out that scoring opportunity for the Dragons. Savoy comes back to Deer and they reset that offense. Dragons don't change up much on their starting lineups. Melina Loza bringing it near side to number 25, Savoy. Sending one in deep is uh, Jakubowski, number 12. Oxford looking to turn on it, and they start moving. But again, the Dragon defense is there to slow that attack down. Deer with room to roam. Find something inside. Again, shut down. Momentum still has it. Inside 30 minutes here in the first half. No score. Long shot on the skips. Ooh, dangerous feed. Solid play there by uh, Mauser. Sends that one down range, nicely done. Oxford trying to get something organized. Ooh, a foul call on Lake Orion. Free kick coming to the Wildcats. Don't forget if you miss, if you uh, like watching uh, sports, you want to see other uh, sporting events, head on over to OrionOnTV.org. There we have hundreds of programs on our video on demand service, right on our website at OrionOnTV.org. You can also watch our programming live stream 24 7. Oh, and a shot across the goal mouth by Oxford. My goodness, that came out of nowhere. Give it up for number nine, Maxton. Uh, Nayran, the defender, number 10. That's my word. That was unexpected. Good quality scoring chance for Oxford. My word. That kind of came out and crept up on us. So I'm talking about our website and video on demand. But if you have other games you would like to watch, head on over to OrionOnTV.org and um, click away. Got to be a little more on top of it in my game here, calling the game. Oxford's moving quick. Looks like that last scoring chance brought some life to them. They're moving a little quicker, a um, little bit more deliberate. Showing some speed, number eight. Upham trying to get something started and just runs out of room and throw in coming for Lake Orion. But senior midfielder uh, Upham trying to do what he does best. Create some offense. Oxford nicely done. Chip to himself. Who's number six? That's Katie. Had the right idea, but better defense on that one. But Oxford has come to life after that near miss by number six, Katie. Over to Polo, number five on that far side, showing some speed. And nice defense there by Kaufman to knock it out of play. 
Long throw in again. We see that time and again. What an asset to have. Dragon's trying to get something organized. Ball is in the air, bouncing around. Got to keep it on the ground. Chip on, still alive. Oh, nice tap pass. Number eight doing what he does. Janewski. Deer tries to send it in and wide right and high. Guy's talking about it, just didn't get enough, uh, a solid connection on that shot, did number 15. Usually you see a solid connection that has a good chance of going in, but you get excited, you get your rival in town. Goal kick coming. Full color is starting to poke their heads out uh, on the Lees. Beautiful setting here at Lake Orion High School. Before it gets cold and dreary here in Michigan in the fall. All right, another foul called at midfield on Lake Orion, and we saw this was the setup for that last offensive rush for Oxford that uh, nearly paid dividends as we're inside 26 minutes on the free kit coming here for the Wildcats. Drew Cady uh, with the honors here sends it long. Yeah, knocked out of the box by Lake Orion. Katie again trying to set something up, and no can do. Nothing there. Miss hit there on the clear. Dragons with possession, trying to move quickly now. Coming near side. Deer's looking for it. He's, up. He's open on that left side, and they changed her mind to slow it down a little bit. Janewski changed his mind, and... Good defense does that, makes you think. Savoy with the throw in, number 25 here for Lake Orion. Over to Deer, splits two defenders. Trying to find it, and Legs just lost possession of it. Oh, nice feed up the near side, right idea, but just out of play, a little too strong. Oxford is attacking at the edges and using some of their speed, especially with number eight up them. And high cleats in the air as Katie sends that one down range. Gathered in by number seven. That's Kaufman again. Low on the defense goes, sends it in. Screamer is deflected. Dangerous spot. But gathered in nicely by Archer. Time continues to run here. 24-17 left in the first half. No score. Two rivals meeting up here at Dragon Stadium for this uh, cross-town matchup. Dragons up that far side again, and a nice right-footed feeder into the box. Nicely done, oh, and just can't gather it in. Number 14 for Lake Orion, Calvin Mays. What a setup by Polo. Number five, and it just, the volley, tried to do the volley through the air, and it was the right idea, but just a bit too much. Uh, the angle just wasn't right, and wow. Dragons are finding ways to get behind that Wildcat defense. And so we have uh, two quality scoring chances for Lake Orion, one for Oxford, one corner kick earned for Oxford, no corner kicks for Lake Orion so far in this match. Setting up outside, challenged. Kaufman runs it down for Oxford. Looking to the middle. Medell there chips it over in the corner, runs out of real estate there. I believe we have a corner kick coming. Second corner kick for Oxford tonight. And as they get set up, looks like number six, uh, Katie, will have the honors on this corner kick. So far, we've called Katie's uh, name a couple of times already. He was handling the free kick out front that nearly got through. So here we are in a corner kick. Defense is getting set, puts his hands there, ready to go. Bender in the near side post, and it goes in, score! 
What a goal by Oxford. My word. First time I've seen that in a number of years. Goal on the corner kick. What a bender from the left corner at 22-18. Drew Cady gets Oxford on the board, 1-0. What a shot. Unbelievable play. Launches it. It, it, it. Corner kick's a corner kick, right? It can yield dividends, not just drop it in the box, but the the precision in which that, that ball curved and caught. Uh, you know, Archer flat-footed. He You saw him leap in the air, but he was a little bit delayed getting there, and I think that upper 90 bend where he tucked it in there was just a fingertip away, and the reaction was just a half second too, too slow, and Katie makes the Dragons pay here early in the first. What a goal. We saw the, the near uh, chip on again, danger sent out by the Wildcat defense. We saw Oxford pick up their pace after that near goal um, just a couple minutes into the game, and they've they they are they are playing with some speed and uh, purpose. It looks like right now. Dragons, can they respond? Dragons, uh, we've seen them give up the early goal, but fight back in a number of matches this year. Again, they don't score a whole lot of goals. We're looking at. Uh, Jeez, what was their last win? It was against, um, let's see, Royal Oak, four to one. I think that's Oxford. I think I'm in the wrong uh, <laughs> tab. Anyway, no, that's Lake Orion. Their one was uh, last win. My goodness, another one. These guys are peppering the, peppering the defense here. That is another scoring chance. Got to give it up for number 24, Lucas uh, Batene. If I'm saying his name correctly, that is a senior forward for uh, uh, for Oxford. Uh, the Wildcats are feeling it. Let's just say that they are on top of their game tonight, putting the pressure on. Not afraid to shoot from distance either. We see a lot of teams trying to just walk it in and get point blank shots and just try to make the the difficult play, but. Challenge the goalkeeper. Send the ball on frame. See what happens. You never know. Especially in these conditions out here. It is quite windy. You can't really see it on the sidelines um, or on the screen. But it is rather windy out here. There are some gusts. So, uh, yeah, send it on frame from distance. See what happens. Never hurts, right? All right. See if the Dragons can respond here at 1938. So they have the throw in. Look at how long that throw in is. My goodness. Oxford sends it down range. Dragons trying to corral it. It's pushing and shoving out there. Something to expect on a rivalry matchup. And the great thing is a lot of these guys know each other very, very well. Playing in the uh, Oxford Orion Soccer League, the OSL for a number of years, I'm sure. And amongst all the travel teams around the area. Usually you know <laughs> pretty much everybody on the Oxford team in Lake Orion. They know each other. They've probably been teammates at one point or another or currently teammates when they're not in season. Nice Foul called on Lake Orion. Free kick coming to you-know-who. That was number six. Drops it into the box and it's just gets behind him. My word. Again, Oxford. Every time they are on those free kicks, they are putting, and set pieces, they are putting that ball in a dangerous position for that Lake Orion defense. Very impressed with Oxford so far tonight. Fourth quality scoring chance for the Wildcats. Jakubowski sends that one in. Gonna fight for it over there. Kind of in no man's land there. Deflected out of play, Dragons with a throw in. Good effort by number seven, Kaufman, once again for uh, Oxford. Substitutions being made by both teams. 23 coming in for Lake Orion. That is Farmer, Owen Farmer, the senior defender, checks in. 
And he'll have uh, the throw in from the side. Give number five a breather. He's had a nice, uh, nice goal of it so far in this first half. Oxford chipping in. Nice right foot dump in the box. Wide of the net, but makes the Dragon uh, goalkeeper come out and play it. Keep them busy back there. Keep them guessing. They're doing a nice job mixing it up. Being aggressive on that offensive uh, side of the field. Two Dragon defenders pinch in. Deer gives it away. Dangerous pass to the middle. Not sure what he saw there. A blind turn and gives it up. Oh, a short pass there didn't lead him enough. Deer looking to move quickly. It gives it up to uh, number 23, Farmer, for the throw-in. Inside 17 minutes left in this first half. Oxford High School up 1-0 over your hometown Dragons in this Game of the Week matchup, this rivalry matchup. Cutting it inside. In hot pursuit is number 18 being a pass. That's Worthen for the Wildcats. Ooh, turnover deep in the dragon end. Going to give it a go. Still alive. Nope, just out. Oh, cross that end line. Goal kick coming. But you can see how quickly Oxford transitions from de or offense to defense to offense once again. And these guys are on the same page. It's hard to believe. Watching these guys play, they are just, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven sophomores on this squad. A young team playing like seasoned veterans. Oxford currently in the lower third of the white, or excuse me, the red division standings of the OAA. Look like a handball, but out of play already. Look like a deflection. You can see the ball go up and down real quick. No call. Just out of play. Could be. Eyes playing tricks on me, that's for sure. Ian Locke here, your announcer for this uh, contest. Glad you could tune in. Hope you're enjoying this varsity action here. Dragons versus uh, the Wildcats from Oxford. Always a good matchup. No matter what it is, even if it's checkers, it's good to watch. <laughs> Gets crazy. Uh, but it's always good natured. A lot of uh, our friends up the road in Oxford, always uh, great to have them in town to take, you know, take in a contest to go head to head. It's always spirited, but always good natured. Dragons give that one up again and can't set it up. Oxford netminder Mauser comes out to check that one up, grabs it. A little bit of pressure put on by Lake Orion's number 14, Mays. Oxford sends it down that far left side. Trying to look for room to roam. Good per pressure on the ball by the Wildcats. Dragons, nice spacing there to get their tic-tac-toe passing under control. Good shapes out there. Just trying to find that open runner. Who do they have going back? Ooh. Yeah, they're looking for uh, number 23. Farmer in the middle there. Turned away. Good pressure on the defense, making the Dragons look for support and resetting that offense. Inside 14 minutes, Oxford up 1-0 on Dragons. From the near side with a deer, with room to roam. And he left foot it in, he does. Gets to the far post. Oh, a header. We've seen that play over and over again all season long. Over to, was at 14 is um, uh, Mays. We've seen the headers, the, the delivery of that ball into the box and a header in. We've seen every game that we've covered this season. That is a staple of the Dragon offense. And usually we've seen them connect. It's been close. But again, that's the spectacular scoring play to get that in, to head it in. Um, we don't see a lot of just 
finding some breaks and opening two hands of the back. Lake Orion player goes down. No call. Play continues. But, yeah, we see that. That's kind of the offense we're going to see from Lake Orion. Oxford's putting, using their speed and putting pressure on and mixing things up a little bit. Dragons trying to find some space to move and grabbing around the waist and mixing it up a little bit. Oxford gets a nice toe on it. Just a lot of battles, individual battles out there going on. Nothing coming easy. Both teams are kind of settling into the pace of this game, and you can see the Dragon offense picking up a little bit. The Obviously, the Oxford offense and defense has picked it up in intensity and in speed. Left footer in the box, easily handled by Miles. Or inside 12 minutes to go. Exciting match so far. Back and forth. High goal kick coming to midfield. Dragons are there and send it back in. Kicking it out again. Wildcat defense doing what they do best. Looking for the open man. Ooh, right idea. Dragons on the move. Near miss. Deer in the corner. Let's see if he can step around the defense. He does. Left foots it. Centering pass. Out in front of the box. And save. What a save. That was going in. Lower right post. But Mauser gets a fingernail on that one and deflects that one wide. Dragons can't believe it. My word. Third quality scoring chance for Lake Orion. As number five checks in once again. Wow, time continues to roll inside 11 minutes. What a scoring opportunity. And we saw those setups where you've got 15 running up this side. I mean, that's their offense, right? I mean, Deer delivering that ball into the middle, and it was there. Dragon offense turned on it and just couldn't get it in. There was just enough time for Mauser to get down low and, and extend himself and stop that uh, ball from going to the back of the net. My goodness. Nice turn by number eight, Janewski. Coming near side again, Pelo. Centering pass, trying to turn on it really quick and again, can't get control of it. It's a, it's a good setup there but just can't get a solid strike on it and try to try to aim it and find that, uh, try to get it on frame as opposed to launching it over top. Offense doing their thing. As you see number 21 on your screen, that's uh, Connor Houston, the senior forward. This first half is blown by quickly, already at nine and a half minutes left. A lot of action. Dragons have pretty much, over the last, uh, I don't know, three, four minutes, the Dragons have uh, really held play. Oxford hasn't really had an opportunity to set up an offensive rush. Dragons, two quality scoring chances um, and a near goal already. Let's see what happens. Short kick over the near side. Jakubowski has it, and he's on the move. Some space to maneuver. Tries to thread that needle, and he does. Gets it back. Cuts back into the middle. Too many, uh, too much dribble in there, and is stolen by the Wildcats of Oxford. Nice pass to number 12. He gives it up, too. That's Hudson, but no one there. Dragons are heading the other way. Long thread. This pass has got to keep him on that turf. Oh, a whiff on that uh, scoring up or centering pass opportunity, trying to find something still alive just outside the box, but cleaned up by the Wildcat defense. Dragons are finding those open lanes, and they know where their teammates are. You can tell that's an experienced pass we just saw to that far left side. Oh, nice anticipation there by the Wildcats, and they're on the move. 
Nicely done by number 10. It's Medell. Dumping it in. Dangerous pass. Dragons don't knock that one down. Wildcats walk in. Trying to get possession of that ball inside. Well, what are we sitting in here? 7.42 left. Wildcats up on the goal by Katie at 22.18 on a corner kick. Beautiful corner kick. Bender into the upper left 90. Heck of a shot. One of the best goals we've seen this season in ONTV's coverage of Dragon Soccer for any team we've seen. And uh, one of the top teams in the state of Michigan, the Colts from Troy, were in. Again, the Dragons gave them a match. And uh, that that goal by Katie at 22-18 was one of the one of the best looking goals we've seen all season long. Time continues to roll after the foul call. Again, number six lines up, and he's been very accurate. Drew Katie, number 10. Excuse me, number six, the sophomore defender. Solid player all around. Nice and long feed and just outside the 18 and handled nicely by Archer. He's going to punt it, see how it goes. Nicely done, got all of that one. Didn't quite get to midfield. What we're seeing there with Archer is his goal kicks are are such that it is hitting a green player. <laughs> LA Korean player finding that open space as opposed to cutting it short or knuckling it over and just turning it over on the short field to uh, put your defense in a stressful position. So, so far, so good for Archer. Inside six minutes. Dragons again still are doing a nice job of putting pressure on, but Oxford is still zipping around, trying to get something set up and out of play. Should be a throw in coming for the green and white. Be sure to head on over to OrionOnTV.org at our website. You can catch uh, Dragon football and volleyball and soccer matches from this season, this fall season. Uh, all the games are there. We'll also post them up on our YouTube channel, Orion on TV. And over 3,000 videos, games from the last, geez, decade are up there, <laughs> including other programming from uh, volunteer producers here in Lake Orion. We have news and all that good stuff. Check it out. All right, throw in, throw in coming in for Oxford. Looked like there was some question of whether or not there's a throw in or not. I think we had a substitution coming in, number eight. Checking into the game. Keegan up him. And a throw in still for Oxford, making him back up a little bit. Got a little of the creep up there. Number 19 with the honors. That is Ryan Clark. Nice long throw in. Dragons deflected into play. Ooh, centering pass dangerously done by Lake Orion. Wildcats just being a, I like to use this, this is a term of endearment, but they're being a pest out there on offense. Just seem to be there all the time and making you make your, make a decision that you're not ready to make. Looking for a centering pass and he finds it on the right, there's a deflection there, went down. We've seen a lot of uh, handballs in the box this year. PK is going against the Dragons and for them. So, uh, and a foul going the other way. Call the number 12. Um, I don't think that was Jack Kubowski. I gotta get that number down. I should put my glasses on, what do you say? Cleared out nicely by the Dragon defense to stop that rush at 323. Throwing coming for the Wildcats. Oxford moves quickly. Looking to try to turn on it. Oh, nearly done. Nice try. Kaufman nearly gets that one turned. And Th 
Throw in coming here for the Wildcats again. Burning some clock there, trying to figure out who's going to throw the ball in. Nice deflection out there by the defense. Jakubowski centers it in the box, clear it out. Just trying to get it out of that area, deep in the uh, defensive end for Lake Orion. Oh, near turnover. Oh boy. <laughs> Catch your breath. Who was that? Number 10, Austin Nagri turning on that one. Hands around the waist, no call. Play can, there it is. You can see Diego Medell called on the foul, just frustrating uh, Lake Orion players out there. You can't lose your cool. You got to keep calm. The referees see that stuff. They will call it. Uh, I, I'd, I'd pay good money to have anybody bring me some video footage of a player complaining to a ref that it resulted in anything positive. <laughs> you never see it. You complain all day long, but it's just, uh, it's not going to change their opinion. Jakubowski, number 12, making a move and inside, going to the left foot. Tries to tap it in. Oh, give and go. Nearly there. We're going to say, oh, whistle taken down in the box. They're going to say penalty kick coming. Oh, my word. And a yellow card. That is number nine, Maxton uh, Mayrand. Shaking his head. Can't believe it. Uh, Penalty, penalty kick given on that play, taken down in the box. Who's uh, on the honors? Number eight, Janewski. Going to get going up against Mauser with 137 left. A PK. Dragons were giving up penalty kicks in the box with handballs. We saw the last couple games against Rochester, and even um, I think it was Troy. So here we go. What can they do? 137 left. Hesitation. Kicked in a save. What a save. Ball is still alive. Still alive. And the Wildcats clear it out. The Wildcat faithful losing their minds in the stand here on the stone cold save on that penalty kick. That little hesitation kind of set up uh, Mauser to know which way uh, the kick was coming and uh, Janewski didn't fool anybody on that one as we're approaching 60 seconds left in this uh, half my word what a what an opportunity gone by the wayside for the Lake Orion Dragons but what a defensive stand for the Wildcats of Oxford there you go you see him right now he's made three unbelievable saves saves so far in this match and Without his talents, Mauser out there, Nolan Mauser, without him doing what he's doing, this game could easily be three to one. But at this point, it is not. It's one nothing. Oxford still with the lead. Their goal came at 22-18. So uh, yeah, just got to keep an eye on this one. The opportunities go by the wayside. Sometimes they you don't get those back. 50 seconds left. Oxford has to be very pleased with their play on the defensive end of the ball. Dragons had the pressure most of this last third of this first half. Um, they really held play, but each time uh, Oxford got into the Orient defensive end, it was always danger, danger. Watch out. <laughs> kind of wild out here. Uh, players going down, hitting the turf. Referee's going to say, hey, take it easy. Yeah, who's not happy? Number eight, uh, two number eights over there, double eights chit-chatting over there. I think uh, Mihailo uh, Janewski is still upset over missing that penalty kick against a rivalry. Here we go. Far shot in the corner and knocked out by Jakubowski. Nicely done as the half comes to an end. What a way to close it out. Oxford up 1 0 on Lake Orion and Half. We'll be back after this short timeout. Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports continues after this. Owen TV encourages you to go back to school and attend our 10 week video production workshop. Classes meet on Monday nights from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. and offer instruction on studio production, field production, and nonlinear editing. The cost is $55 per person, and upon completion of the class, you get access to ONTV's facilities and equipment.
to produce your own program or short film. For more information, give ONTV a call at 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org today. Ian Locke back here for Owen TV Sports and Game of the Week, Oxford versus Lake Orion Varsity Soccer. The Wildcats up 1-0 at half on a crazy corner kick by Katie sporting the number six jersey at 22-18. A beautiful shot, but the story of the game so far, the match is uh, the goalkeeper for Oxford, Nolan Mauser, the sophomore standing on his head during a <laughs> A penalty kick and uh, two others' fabulous saves to keep his uh, sheet nice and clean. one nothing here on the road at Lake Orion. And we saw that uh, Oxford and Lake Orion picked up the pace, and there was definitely a purpose and uh, uh, to their steps and what they were doing and just really turning it up. Intensity was ratcheting up is what I'm trying to get at here. I want to thank you all for tuning in to Owen TV's coverage of Dragon Sports. We're happy to bring this uh, match to you. And um, fall sports here in Lake Orion are always a fun time, and we're glad we could uh, bring these uh, images to you um, to enjoy and cheer on the green and white. Dragons, again, uh, looking to do something. Uh, attacking early in that offense. A little different type of uh, attack than we saw in the first half, crossing pass head on frame and easily handled by Oxford. So, yeah, we're excited to uh, bring these matches to you. This is our fourth varsity soccer match of the season. And weather permitting, we'll try to bring as many as we can. Um, I believe this year Owen, uh, or Lake Orion will not be hosting Districts or regionals as the Dragons have an offensive rush here early on in the second half. And the pressure is coming hot and heavy here in the first half. Again, Dragons grab it again in that near turnover. Ball is free. Looking for a foul. They call. Dragons are calling for a penalty kick. A foul in the box by the, uh, the goalie coming out to knock the offensive player down, but no call. And uh, Oxford's looking for a call in the collision. A lot of talking going on out there. You can see the intensity has, de the temperature in the room has definitely gone up in the first two minutes of this second half. Oh, someone getting talked to. Calvin Mays, the junior um, defender, number 14, getting chatted on. It's like, you got to watch the chatter, especially in a rivalry match. You know, your rival's going to get under your skin. What are you going to do about it? Sit there and talk about it, complain about it. Said complaining to the ref never usually <laughs> uh, pays dividends in any positive way. Oxford trying to clear it out, just kind of on their heels a little bit here. Dragons came out full force on offense here in the start of this second half. Ball's out of play. Dragons look to move quickly. Throw in, looking to set up. A lot of pushing, a lot of leaning, a lot of grabbing. Yep, easily called um, by the referee. Free kick coming. And number eight with the honors there. Again, call his name, Janewski. Janewski was the... Uh, had the task on that penalty kick and missed. This little hesitation move uh, did not fool Oxford. Nice lob into the box, nicely done. Ball is free. Played again to the corner, header, and it's in. Score. 36-31, Dragons nicely done. My goodness, what a situation. What a goal. Dragons netted up at 36-37 of the second. I didn't see which jersey knocked it in. Was it number 14? I think it was 14. 
Mays get ahead on that ball. Oxford, is, that was kind of a crazy scramble, but again, Dragons really pouring it on offensively, just dropping into the box and making Oxford pay to level this one up at one. Whole new match right now. Dragons feeling some life here, especially after that missed penalty kick at the end of the first half. Foul called. Dragons on the free kick here. Dragons energy has really ratcheted up at the start of this half. Long feed into the box. Somebody's there, looks offside, no call. Play continues. Number six there, that is Molina Loza. Looks like he was off offside on the delivery, but he was parked way back. And a yellow card given. Oh my. Yellow card given, Calvin Mays with the yellow card. He has to go off. He was already talked to by the referee just a moment ago, and he said something the ref didn't like, and he's gonna take a seat. And number 30's checking in for Lake Orion. Let me see if I have number 30 on my roster. I do not. Let's see if we have number 30 on the JV roster. I do not. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery player enters the game after the yellow card. Two yellow cards. It's one yellow card apiece, one for Oxford. That got the penalty kick for Lake Orion at the end of the first half, and we just saw this one at the early stages of the second going to Lake Orion. So when you start ratcheting up the temperature in the room, as they say, and you start... Uh, Getting chippy and more physical out there. The cards start coming out. Pushing in, shoving, bumping in. And like I mentioned before, a lot of these guys are buddies. They know each other. They're even teammates on their travel teams. So, you know, it's it's nothing, uh, nothing personal. It's just uh, heated competition. And a warning for the mystery player number 30 off the bench, chatting up the... Chant up Miles are going, really? <laughs> Makes a lively match, doesn't it? We knew we would get one, but uh, took to the second half for some of the fireworks to start flying around here, right? Jakubowski running that one down, pull, uh -oh, trying to do something with it. Oxford nicely done, keeping it in play. And someone takes a... Someone goes down in a heap. Foul called. Waiting for a yellow card. Do they get one? No yellow card. Just a foul. Free kick coming in a dangerous spot here. I think the Dragons changed uh, their goalkeepers. Wasn't even looking at for earlier. We mentioned at the top of the game that sometimes Lake Orion likes to rotate in and out their goalkeeper. So Toby Archer, uh, after only allowing one goal in the first half, he takes a seat. Uh, Marius Martello is the other goalkeeper listed. And number seven for Oxford, Cooper Kaufman with the honors here. Lake Orion sets the wall up. Chip on way high. That's one you'd love to have back. What an opportunity. Everybody sets up. Lake Orion going to uh, trust in that other, uh, their Goalkeeper, we have him as listed as number zero. Inside step, nice pass. Two hands, yeah, that's that's easy to call. 17 goes down in a heap. Uh, Jose Bellina Loza goes down after the foul. Number 25 over there, Diego Savoy. Nice inside passing, Dragons trying to move quickly. There's Polo coming up number five. We've seen him before. Right foot this time going far post and easily gathered in. But you got to challenge that netminder. You got to get him. Get him moving side to side. Make him, uh, you know, make him move. Make him we'll do a little work back there. Oxford with the ball. Trying to get something going on offense. Another foul. And Oxford kicked that ball after the whistle and a yellow card. 
Flood of yellow cards coming here in the second half. That's Coltrane Hudson, number 12. Sitting down after the yellow, Lucas uh, Batene checks in, the senior forward for Oxford after the yellow. Guys got to gather themselves. Jakubowski, number 12, uh, taps it over to number 17. Jose Belina Loza. Jakubowski gets it back and trying to split the defense in a difficult pass. He's trying to need a clean pass. Don't need a spectacular pass. Oh, down. There you go. Oh, and uh, you are got to watch how you react to that. And that's uh, Katie jumping up and down. Surprised he didn't get a warning on that call. Because uh, the referee's ready to hand out yellow cards left and right. Janewski with the honors here. It looks like on the free kick as the defense sets up. Here's the chip on. It's on frame right to the net minder. Who is 16 as the trailer. Adam Heron closing in on the net but couldn't get anything on it. Some room to roam here for the Wildcats if they move quickly. Back heel defense of uh, clearing there by um, Lake Orion. End to end action here. Usually you don't see that on the soccer pitch, but here we are tonight. Ooh, handball, no call. Looked like a handball in the box. Play continues and just wide of the net. My goodness. Looked like it was a handball in the box by Lake Warrion, but no call. And my word, corner kick coming here for Oxford. Third of the night. Already saw them get a... Maybe it wasn't. Yeah, it was a corner kick. Maybe um, someone got a goal on a corner kick. Some clever passing. Some two on one on two action here as the defense trying to get back in position. And Wildcats just uh, content to knock that one out of play to slow things down. My goodness, we're this is like a basketball game. Back and forth, fast break. Just no slam dunks just yet. Smart move by Mauser. Just kind of settle everything down. Send it down range. Didn't quite make midfield. And that should be a clear out. Nicely done there. Throw in coming for uh, the Wildcats at 29 flat. Throwing his way upfield. Uh, making substitutions. Number nine checks back in after getting his yellow. <laughs> Max and Maynard, or Mayrand, excuse me, with a throw in. Yeah, he was involved in that yellow that got the penalty kick in the first half for Lake Orion. Nice throw in right in the box. Perfectly done. And oh, what? It served up on a platter. Cannot finish. Cooper Kaufman, number seven. He was in position, fifth quality scoring chance for Oxford tonight. They've had their opportunities. Just couldn't finish. Goes back to that free kick he had too. Kaufman shot it high, just out of play. And that one simil similarly uh, uh, shot out of play. But those are opportunities that you got to take advantage of. Inside 28 minutes here in the second half. Tied at one. Dragons get a second half goal to tie it up at 36-37. We're calling it by number 14 uh, for the green and white. That is Mays. There was a whole mess of people in there. It was a header and a free kick lob and pass. It was nicely done by Lake Orion. And they were really swarming the offensive end, just really bringing the speed. And it paid off. And they're going to say foul on Lake Orient. Free kick coming here for Oxford. They send it down range. Jakubowski running that one down. Slows it down and finds the open man. Janewski. We we'll give away by the Lake Orion Dragons. Still with a throw in though inside 27 minutes. 
Back and forth affair here. It's been exciting. Again, Dragons uh, do not put a lot of points on the board. Not a lot of goals scored. Um, a lot of tight games over the course of this season. Wildcats turn on it, trying to do something with it. Kaufman trying to do something. It's deflected into the 18. Dragons waiting for it to low down. He's pushed from behind. They're going to call that. Uh, number 18, uh, Tristan Warthoon. And Dragons are trying to earn uh, just a goal kick, and they get the foul instead. Let's take a look at Oxford coming in. What you said, they were 6-5-2 overall, 1-3-1 one, one in league play in the OAA Red. Dragons are 6-8-3, and 3-2-1 three, three, over the last six. And Oxford is, uh, Dragons are 2-0-1 oh, in the white division. And over their last six games, Oxford is 2-2-2. Two, two, and two. So we got a, a nice matchup here between these two rivals. It's everything is advertised. It's been very entertaining. Back and forth affair. Yellow cards, penalty kicks, corner kick goals. What else can you ask for, right? We're looking for a bicycle kick? Is that what we want? Easily played by uh, Ligorian's goalkeeper, uh, Marius Martello. Coming in fresh for the second half after Toby Archer played the first half. Two senior goalkeepers sharing duties tonight for Lake Orion. Dragons try to chip on and it's deflected out. Wildcats try to run this one down. Oh, giveaway there, dangerous spot. Especially to a dangerous player. Like, and knocked out of play. Should be a corner. Yes. Fortuitous corner here for Lake Orion. I think that is their first corner kick of the night. The way they've been playing, I'm surprised. But again, they've been getting the ball in the box on frame and making Mauser do what he does best. He's short corner. Coming inside, deflected out. Ooh, some space to Rome Riser and just off, off target at the upper left 90. Nicely done by Lake Orion. 17 wearing his gloves there. Jose Balina Loza, the senior defender, all over the place out on the field in his second half. Inside 24 minutes. Ooh, nice feed up that right side, trying to get something going. Still alive in that corner. And knocked out, what are they going to say, goal kick. Good defense by number 25, Diego Savoy, to slow that rush down. It had a... a had opportunity, looked nice, but good defense. Uh, let's see, substitutions coming in. I heard um, Austin Negri, number 10, the freshman midfielder for Lake Orion, checks into the game. And as you see, number 12, uh, calling his name all night long, Stefan uh, Jakubowski. With the honors on that kick, out of play, deflected off the Wildcats, Lake Orion throwing. Comes the throw in, Savoy with the honors, headed out of play. Let's do it again. Clock continues to roll here in the second half. One goal in the first half at 22-18 by a corner kick by Oxford. Long feed in, easily gathered in by Oxford. And Lake Orion scores at 36-37 of the second half. What is that, two minutes, uh, about two and a half minutes into the second half. Oh, Turf Monster goes down. He's looking for a call. There's no call. <laughs> uh, Mat uh, Matias uh, Bolina Loza. Falls down on the turf monster, and he's looking for a call being tripped. Uh, he's not going to get that one. He thought he was tripped, but it was just the green fuzzy stuff that he's running on that got him. Approaching 22 minutes left in the second half. Still alive. Uh oh 
No call. Good tackle. Play continues. A lot of pushing. A lot of arms extended out there. Play continues. Thought that was across the end line. And Lake Orion clears it out. Pushing up that left side. Still alive. What a play. Individual effort. Chip on. And close out. Still alive in the box. Nobody can get there. Mauser falls down on top of it. My word. And we have... Uh, Katie, number six, telling the linesman he's off sides by a, a good two yards. Again, what do we know? You can complain to the refs. What's going to happen? Nothing. Dragons with it on offense again. A little pressure being put on here by Lake Orion. They are really kind of tilting the field in their favor right now over the last couple minutes. Savoy with a throw in here for Lake Orion. Coming in, look at that. Dragons with some energy. Deer trying to do something with it and they look for support and find it. Lena Loza sends it in the box, headed out easily by the Wildcats. Deer trying to run that one down out of play. Should be a Lake Orion throw in. Lake Orion putting that pressure on, trying to get that go ahead goal here. Approaching 20 minutes left, and the throw in specialist here below. Hope I'm saying, I hope I'm saying his last name properly. <laughs> oh, uh, not the best effort there. He's had much better throw ins, uh, but that's. Later stage of this matchup, you get tired a little bit, right? Nice feet up that far right side. Bodies bouncing out there. Looks like a hockey game. Dragons slow down that rush. Martello sends it down range. Oxford sends it back in. Dragons have numbers and space. Ooh, cleats are up high. Dragons go down, feet in the open area. Some space to maneuver. Try to cut it inside. Deer, again, we've seen him. And that is across the end line, looking for a corner. Wildcats calling for an offsides play. Not sure what the uh, the complaint is. Looks like a corner here coming for Lake Orion. No yellow cards. I'm looking at the ref waiting for the yellow card to pop up because we've seen so many. Second corner for Lake Orion in this half and in the game. Usually the corner kicks, when you're earning corner kicks, you're the aggressor on offense. Janewski with the honors. Chips it up high in the box, looking for a header. It's still alive and gathered in by Mauser again. Quality scoring chance by Lake Orion. But even better goaltending by uh, the Wildcats. Nice long ball at that right side. No can do on this turf. It is out of play. My word. I need a drink of water. More action in this second half than we've seen in some games all season long. Sending it along. That's on side. Molina Loza cuts it inside. There's somebody open. Ball is just rolling free. And held up. Number seven, call his name all day long. They're just warning him. That's Kaufman. Dragon Faithful asking for a yellow card. No, no can do. <laughs> Janewski on the honors here. Last time we saw this, they were dropping it in the box, doing a nice job. And they got the header that way too. High delivery into the box. Get the bounce, looking for the header. That's how they got on the board. Jakubowski on the delivery, knuckles over, doesn't really get the elevation it needed. Turn around, go down, cleats and banging going on. What's happening? Foul call to number 18. Boobird's out for the Oxford Wildcats. Uh, that is on Tristan Warthurn. On Mays, goes down in a heap. So here we go. Um, Deer in an opportune situation here. Look at this. You couldn't ask for a better opportunity to try to get something going at 17.04. Deer with the free kick coming as the wall sets up. And here we go. 
Curve around that wall. Oh, just off the post. Oh, my word. The English on that kick was impressive. Cut the right. It took a right turn around the wall and hit the lower 90 post. Deflected out. My goodness. You couldn't be any closer. An inch the other way, and that ball is in. My goodness. Thomas, the ball On that one, Mauser didn't have to be good. The pole is just thick enough. Just thick enough. My goodness. Dragons are itching. They can feel it. Room to roam. Jakubowski taps it over. Oh, nice defense by the Wildcats to slow it down. Dragon's still alive, trying to feed it in there. Oh, nice play. Centering. Melina Loza. Oh, my word. What a sequence. I think if uh, number six, uh, Matias uh, Bolina Loza, number six, if he just takes a shot, that's a wide open net. He was alone on that right side. Decides for the pass, and they tap it out and just cannot finish. But great goalkeeping by the Wildcats tonight is the story. This game could easily be 4-1. Ooh, nice feed off that side. Kaufman dancing around there, looking for one more turn, and he's dropped in the box, hip to hip. Play continues, no call. Oxford faithful howling. Yeah. <laughs> is this a rivalry match or is this a rivalry match? Approaching 15 minutes to go, we are end to end action. Both teams feeling it. They know they can get a W here, being tied 1-1. There's more action happening right now in the last three minutes than we saw in the first half. Bodies hitting the turf. Play continues. Referee's going to start. Uh, there's another one. I don't know. That was more of a glancing blow, but they're going to call a yellow card. There's too much going on. Jakubowski gets it. He'll take a seat. But there were some other collisions, too, that were hip to hip. That one looked like he was from behind. So you're going to call, especially when you're wide open like that, they're going to call it. A lot of action in this one. 15 or 14:44 left, and he's uh, appealing to uh, Coach Cortag, and he just shr shrugs his shoulders. And here we are again, another opportune uh, setup here for the Oxford Wildcats. Um, free kick just outside the 18, looking to set up. Last time we saw him launch it high and wide. Opportunity here. Dragons need to get that wall set up. What is Oxford going to do? They have three back. Who's going to take the shot? It's got to be number six. Has to be. Taps it over. Yes, it is. He right foots it and deflected out. The wall does its job. You knew it had to be number six. Oh, the Dragons have numbers if they can get it down there. It was a four on none break. Four on none, two on none. Pillow running it down, and the ball got away from him. That was a four on zero break. Two on zero break, but good closeout speed by the Wildcat defense. And here we are headed the other way. Ball is all over the place. Bodies are all over the place. My word, what action we have here in the second half of this contest. Dragon uh, defender goes down in a heap. Whistle blows, didn't see what's going on. That's not good. Grabbing his ankle. That's unfortunate. And we'll see what happens here as we stop clock at 14.13. We'll step away for the injury. After the injury timeout, here we are back again. Oxford had some momentum there before the injury timeout. Ooh, chop on, boy, dangerous spot. Look at this action here in the box. Elbows flying, hands pushing, trying to get something going in a dribbler to, <laughs> to Martello. And he just scoops it up, easy as you please. Hope you're enjoying this one as I am. Ian Locke here in the booth for Orion uh, Neighborhood Television Sports Game of the Week, Oxford versus Lake Orion Varsity Soccer. Classic in the making here. Will it be heartbreak? Tied at one. Oxford went up early in the first half. 22-18 in the first half. They go up one on a beautiful corner kick goal. Ooh, nice feed, but just high again. Sailing them high. 
third, fourth kick we've seen Oxford have that had potential that sailed high and wide. Seven uh, quality quality scoring chances for Oxford. Three corner kicks. Dragons at two corner kicks earned seven quality scoring chances as we're having an equipment issue, I guess. Clock continues to roll here inside 13 minutes. And waiting for the whistle to go. Here we go after that timeout for the equipment uh, issue. Plays on. Boy, this next 13 minutes is going to be some end-to-end -end crazy action, I'm sure. Dragons looking to get through. Good defensive stop. Beautiful tackle by the Wildcats. Savoy taps it over, trying to set it up. Jakubowski. Dragons try to turn on it. Looking for something. Savoy can't handle it. Out of play. Wildcats with a deep throw in here. Whew. Where's my water bottle? Time continues to roll here. Long throw in down the line. Oxford trying to get something set up. They had a lot of mo mo going on and out of play throwing coming here for Wildcats and then that injury timeout for Lake Orion kind of slowed things down for them. It's tough when you see uh, the player grab his ankle. That's always a toughie. And what do you got here? Kaufman number seven has been all over this field for the Wildcats tonight. Key throw in here for Oxford. Long throw in, got it just on the edge of the box. Looked like an elbow. And they're gonna say offsides, I think. Yep, offsides call on Oxford. Time continues to roll. How many opportunities have both of these teams had all game long? Uh, Oxford has had two free kicks just outside the 18 and it's been, they can, couldn't convert. Dragons had a penalty kick that they couldn't make it in. Crazy action. Out of play. Goal kick coming here, I believe. Or they're saying a the corner. Corner for Oxford. Now the momentum has, has flipped back into Oxford's uh, corner here. Fourth corner kick of the night for Oxford. Always oh, got these series of momentum swings. Lake Orion in the first third of this half has been just brought it on in spades and then here you have Oxford doing the same now nice high delivery in the box middle of the box and right there to grab it out of the air is Martello great save by Martello great corner kick too sends that one way down range Oxford trying to get something situated here Feels like the field has tipped to the left in favor of Oxford right now. They're the ones that are being the aggressors on offense and really taking it to the Dragons so far. Over the top. A lot of pushing and shoving out there. Dragon defense kicks it out and still in play. Savoy taking this time and it goes out of play and goes down in a heap. I'm gonna say no harm, no foul there. Goal kick coming. Clock is starting to become a factor now as we approach 9.30 left in the second. I know both teams are going to play as hard as they can, but the last thing you want is a foul in the box or a handball in the box and set up a PKW, a game winner. You do not want to do that. Nice. Dragons flip the field. Stepping in, player for Lake Orion goes down, no call. Lake Orion faithful looking for a foul. It's number seven, goes down in a heap. Who is that? Andrew Finstrom being a pest out there. Drew Finstrom uh, going down, no call. Play continues. Dragons trying to turn that one on. That is Belina Loza, Matias. Slows it down, but the clock continues to roll. Throw in for Oxford. Oxford trying to set something up. Nice pullback by 18. That's Tristan Wortham. Savoy on the ball. Is he going to clear it out? He does not. <laughs> Play still on. Hit the uh, 
Wildcat offensive player. They're going to call a foul on Lake Orion. They are a, any contact. The hands are flying in the air like they, they got pushed out of a moving bus going about 70 miles an hour. Hands going in the air. The referee sees it, and they get the call. Katie on the honors. He's been doing this all night. Drops it just outside the 18, handled by Lake Orion, but still free. That ball changed directions, too. It's free in the box. Oh, what a tip over the back of the crossbar. Nicely done. Martello on point. Save of the night for Lake Orion to keep this one tied at one. Oxford bringing the pressure. My word, corner kick coming here. Fifth corner kick of the night for Oxford. Just two corner kicks for Lake Orion. Katie with the honors. He's been doing a great job all night long. He got a goal on one of these. A little too much mustard on that one. Still alive in the box. Danger, danger. Header in, in. Gathered in by Martello. What a sequence there. My word. Doesn't get any more exciting than that. My word, wow. Sends it down range. Inside seven minutes to go. Late whistle. Referee's looking to see who had the advantage after that one. And it was uh, Oxford on the advantage. Yellow card given to number 33. I don't see a 33 on my roster and he's taking his seat. Coaches for Lake Orion going, no sense in arguing. Just come on off. I see Ethan Strauss, number 33, on JVB roster. So we'll see if that might be him uh, playing in a varsity match. Gets a yellow and a key point of this game. 6.52, clock stops on the foul. Katie on the honors. Done a nice job on these set pieces and these free kicks. Ooh, nice header. Almost made it through. Savoy heads it out. From a near side, trying to set up that offense. Oh, nice give and go. 16's on the move. Wilson trying to find an opening. Your right foots it in. Finds the white jersey. Cannot do anything with it. Again, dangerous ball just kind of flying out there. Just to clear that out there. Jakubowski does the job still. Number nine dumps it in. That's uh, Mayrand. That right side out of play. Throw in coming for the Wildcats. Six minutes to go. Key six minutes. I, I, I'd say key 60 seconds here. Can they get it in? Can they cause, can they earn a corner? Can they earn a foul? The Wildcats have shown that they are dangerous on those corner kicks. Ooh, nice feed in. A little short. A little longer on that, and he had a couple white jerseys on the back door. But Martello is there. Ooh, hard collision, no call. Play continues. They're calling a hip to hip. And Dragon's looking to retaliate. Number seven can't do that. Andrew Finstrom coming back. Pushing, pushing, and shoving. Five minutes to go. Finstrom runs into uh, number 10. Play continues, no call. Chip on deflecting off the back of the Wildcat player and kicked over the crossbar. Are you kidding me? Dragon's looking for a foul. No call, five on that one. Uh, what is that, Ryan uh, Petch? I hope that's right. Nice try there by uh, number nine. Excuse me, number five. He's a freshman midfielder. Dragons are content to slow this one down. Oxford feeling it. What do we say? A key 60 second uh, sequence there, and Oxford came out strong. Next 60 seconds or 90 seconds up to the Dragons. Can they come back strong? What can they do? Deer, that far left side, trying to service it in. He does, easily played by Mauser. A little more juice on it, and he had somebody in the middle of the box, but they really didn't have the numbers. Everybody was marked up by a white jersey. Approaching four minutes left. Lena Loza taps it up. Sent down range by the Wildcats. 
clock continues to roll. Second half here, tie game. Rivalries, friends, teammates playing against each other in this match. Ball rolls free into the box. Can't quite get through. Push from behind. A lot of collision. My word. <laughs> end to end action here in a soccer match. What do they say? Uh, sometimes you get games that feel like they're on roller skates. <laughs> That's what this one feels like. Dragons with some room to roam. Feeds it in the open area. But uh, good uh, defensive positioning there to slow down the charge. And Mauser's there. Kick down range, my goodness. Ian Luck here for Orient Neighborhood Television. Game of the week. Varsity soccer here in late stages of this one. A tie game. Oxford is on the board in the first half at 22-18. Dragons get on in the second half at 36-37. Uh, and that's where we've been. Great saves by uh, Nolan Mauser, the sophomore uh, goalkeeper for Clarks, or excuse me, for the Wildcats. Dragons find some opening here and stolen. Number nine, Myron uh, picks the pocket of Deer. And now they're on the move with some space to maneuver here. Tapped in, finds the centering pass, it's alive. Hello, number five, just sends it down range to clear it. Approaching two minutes. Desperation time, trying to get a W, pushing the back, forearm, no call, play continues. Janewski trying to do what he can for this Lake Orion squad, and we're going back the other way. This is crazy. Yellow cards around, play continues wide, open. Dragons trying to find the open player, and they do. Chip it on, oh. I'd like to have that one back, chip that one on frame. Bowser's moving quickly. Throws it out there. Splits that defense, it gets through. Matias Molina Loza hunts that one down, hunts that one down on Martello. Giveaway here, just outside the 18. A chance here for McCollum. Can't do anything with it, and it's got it in the near post. They were looking for a foul in the box. They're not gonna get it. It's Cooper Kaufman, number seven. He's been everywhere. In this match, approaching 60, what do we got? 72 seconds left in this game. Kept in play, they're gonna say it was out of play. Clock continues to roll, these guys are taking their time. Substitutions coming in, late substitution, so the clock stops at 104. Long throw in. Out of play, Dragons making their way up the field. What can they do here? 56 seconds. Polo with a long throw in, looking at just inside the box. He can get it in deep. Nobody there for Lake Orion to gather it in. Savoy trying to turn on it. Ball is cleared out. 44 seconds. Could this be the last rush for the Wildcats? They find some open space. Let's see what happens. 35 seconds to go. Looking for a foul, not gonna get it. Good clean defense, just a tap a and a clear out by Lake Orion. That might do it, it's still alive in the box. Jakubowski clears that one out. This is a mad rush to the end of this match here. 20 seconds to go, and woo, I'm out of breath. That should do it, unless something happens here. Dragon's on a rush here. Janewski looking at Savoy. Clear it out, and that is that should do it, my word. One shot left on goal, and, and the horn sounds <laughs> one last time. That's the final Oxford Lake Orient tie here at Dragon Stadium, a classic one. There's your player of the game, Nolan Mauser. Stood on his head for a, a PK a save and uh, just kept Oxford in this game all all game long, just turning away the Dragon offense, and really, this game could have been a different way if Mauser wasn't on his game tonight. Thank you for joining us for this telecast. I'm Ian Locke. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time for Game of the Week at Orient Neighborhood Television Sports. Good night, everybody.